there was never one moment where I said I wanted to become a musician, but there was always that feeling that I always wanted to become a violinist. So I grew up in Dublin City and I started the violin at the age of four. Um, there was always music going on at home. Um, Mom, Dad, John used to always play the piano. I think Dad thumped quite a bit actually. Uh, but there was always music in the background and there was all recordings playing. And I remember hearing the beautiful recordings of Yehudi Menuhin or Yasha Heifetz and just being enthralled by those sounds. I think I've always just loved the lyrical side of what a violin can do and how audiences just connect to that. I was really excited about creating this album and I wanted to do something different, something that really hadn't been done before. It wasn't about violin, it wasn't about the instrumentation, it was about creating something that was really organic. So there's been some incredible jazz violinists and some incredible classical violinists. And while they've crossed over to each other's genre, none of them have really done it successfully. So the whole goal behind this was to create something that was organic and unique that hadn't really been done before and that explored that classical and jazz fusion. I think it's about knowing what your vision is and completely committing to it. Always gonna be difficulties, but it's about taking risks and being vulnerable. And that's when the absolutely most beautiful music will come out. The album is dedicated to Dad. Um, he loved this music and he used to come on tour with me for years. It's 11 incredible jazz standards, love songs, popular ballads, ranging from Leonard Cohen's Hallelujah to When I Fall in Love, from Summertime to Autumn Leaves, and the beautiful sounds of Astor Piazzolla's Oblivion. I think there's a throwback to that Stefan Grappelli sound and of course that Miles Davis influence as well. I 
I think I just want to play in front of people, whether that's theatres, concert halls, galas, fundraisers. I just want everybody to hear this music. Whether it's what's on the album or the music of Hendrix, Dave Brubeck, Andre Bocelli, or Johnny Cash, there's something really incredible about seeing audiences' reactions to those pieces. <laughs> <laughs>